In this video, I'm going to illustrate how to adjust the sample ID for a set of VAMAS blocks. To create a VAMAS file for which I need to make an adjustment, I'm going to load a set of measurements that were performed from different samples, and the different samples are labelled, but the data from these samples, in terms of survey and high resolution data, are in separate files. So when I open and merge these data, I end up with a VAMAS file that does not show the correct relationship between the survey measurements and the high resolution data. And what I need to do is align these so that the survey and the high resolution data are in the same row. That makes logical sense. So to see from which files these different VAMAS blocks were collected, I'm using the edit mode so I can see the sample identifier that's associated with these VAMAS blocks. And the reason that the survey and the high resolution data are on different rows is because although they do have an identifier that would represent the sample in particular, so this one I've chosen is labeled N0, the fact that they were measured at different times and placed in different files means that the file name is different in terms of this sample identifier and hence they're on different rows but if I adjust the sample identifier so they are identical then the survey and the high resolution data will all appear in the same row in this VAMAS file. So to make this adjustment I can use the toolbar button that has the hint of edit sample ID. Now in reality you can adjust more than the sample ID. The block ID, the element and the transition for each one of these VAMAS blocks could also be adjusted. But I don't want to adjust the block ID or the element transition fields, otherwise that would alter the arrangement of the VAMAS blocks and the labels that are used to label the VAMAS blocks. I'm just interested in the sample ID. This is a, a distinct string that can be used to organize data in rows with respect to the sample ID. So I've entered N0. I have the VAMAS block selected that I wish to assign the same sample ID and when I press apply I get a confirmation dialog window just to make sure that I'm going to make the adjustment to the correct VAMAS blocks. So I've unticked the block ID, transition and element options so the only enabled option was the sample ID. I can see that the file name is the one I'm targeting and the block IDs are as I see. So having confirmed that these are correct, I press OK and then accept the adjustment to the label in each row. So now I have my VAMAS blocks that were all measured from the same sample that is labeled N0 in the same row. So I would now need to go through and perform the same operation for each one of these other survey spectra and these high resolution data so that I align the VAMAS blocks corresponding to these other labels N1 and you notice that the tick boxes are, remain unticked once they've been used so it remembers the fact that I'm only interested in the sample ID and we can go through and make another adjustment so to align all these survey spectra with the high resolution data, you just simply need to go through and make these adjustments using the toolbar button and the dialog window.